Welcome back, thank you for joining me. My 2009 XC70 T6 with 122,000 kilometers. In this video, I will replace the five year old battery on my Volvo, original Volvo battery from the dealer, manufactured August of 23. This is the part number that uh, matches my VIN number. Fresh new battery from the dealer, not cheap, but I like to buy original. Um, it's an easy process to do it yourself. Let's take a quick peek at the mileage here again, just for the reference for myself as well. Uh, it's easy, you can do it yourself. So let's begin. We need to remove the two covers, flat head screwdriver, 90 degree turn on the screw, remove this uh, rubber seal, there is no particular sequence on removing those covers, and just for uh, information, the part numbers on the cover are as follows, made in Sweden. I honestly uh, don't like to wait until the battery dies on you or starts to show signs of weakness. I tend to replace every five years. This way I sleep well and I have no trouble in our cold winters here in Canada. 10 millimeter socket. Also let's remove the vent hose from the battery. First we want to disconnect the negative one and then the positive. Now just to note my 09 Volvo has no BMS which is the battery management system sensor on the negative cable which means it's a much simpler design so I don't have to reset it. Uh, it's simple just replace the battery and you're good to go and a little bit more about that uh, later in the video so keep watching now we have to remove this long 10 millimeter socket bolt which holds the battery in position using this bolt and a metal bracket that i'm gonna fish out in a moment here and show you Well, this is the setup that uh, secures the battery in position so it doesn't jump around. Uh, convenient handles on the original battery. Just pull it out upwards, pretty heavy. And now we can take a look. Uh, I have modified the vent hose so it goes directly onto the ground. Uh, so for proper venting, the brake fluid reservoir, the ABS pump over there. Now the original battery is five year old, installed in May 2018 at 65,000 kilometers. A simple math, I put on in five years 57,000. So what I like to do is uh, use a marker and mark the current mileage and date. This way it's easy to track the age of the battery. So next replacement will be in 2028 if we get to live to the date. Put the new battery in, reconnect the vent hose and the bracket. Just nice and tight. Now the BMS sensor will monitor the state of the charge of the battery, uh, its condition 
and if you have that sensor you will need to connect uh, via the dice to reset it or attend a service shop that can do it for you I'm gonna show you on the screen uh, pictures of uh, how and uh, where to look for it so if you have this device with the connector to it uh, then you have to reset it because otherwise you're gonna get messages low battery and so on um, I tried googling resetting it uh, without uh, connecting uh, software there is some uh, instructions I haven't tried it because I don't have it so give it a shot try to google it you'll find information and see if you can do it on your own let's uh, get back uh, to our battery here uh, replacing uh, the covers back into their position flathead screwdriver 90 degree turn uh, this cover was replaced under warranty at some point when I bought the vehicle in 2013 still the clips are intact because I'm careful when I remove those covers so I don't break anything now the only thing is is after you replace the battery your windows will need to get reset and what I mean by that they will not automatically roll down or upwards and the procedure is super simple <clears throat> you wanna start the vehicle and then you wanna roll down all the windows all the way down all four of them and once you do that as you can see the automatic uh, window rolling does not operate at the moment and then you're gonna go and lift the window up until it closes fully and then click into second position hold it for two or three seconds and release and as you can see now the automatic is working so roll it up once it's fully up click into the second position wait two seconds and it's reset repeat for all the other doors to mention the sunroof is uh, not affected so it will still operate as it should it will auto open and auto close for you so no need to do anything with the sunroof so there you go the windows are now initialized i hope that you like this video don't forget to subscribe to the channel don't forget the notification bell so you don't miss any other videos from me thank you for watching and i'll see you next time bye bye guys